What's up everyone? It's me back again with a tiny, tiny little update for the Subaru conversion. I've been stupidly busy with work over the last few weeks, so I haven't really had time to work on the conversion at all. And I'm trying to raise the money for a new clutch before I put the engine into the van. So I've been slowly, slowly selling bits off the Subaru. It's almost fully stripped down now. Um, it's got no components on underneath. Uh, I just need to take the doors off and the sunroof is the last thing to come out and then it's a bare shell which is going to go to the scrapyard. New clutch is about 300 quid I think. I'm about halfway there uh, with part sales. I don't really want to like spend my own money so anything that comes off the Subaru goes into a pot and then that it's just whatever's in there is what I've got to spend on this conversion so that's going a bit slower than I'd hoped. I guess it's just because it's the run up till Christmas. Between that and my other projects, I run a small unicycle clothing brand. If you're interested in that, check the link in the description. I've just not had time. So, um, as I said, tiny, tiny, tiny update today. I got these little tiny um, spark plug tube seals, which I needed in the last video. Um, I'm just gonna fit those today, so this is just gonna be a short one. So that's the new plug tube seals in place. I've got the rocker cover here and the the seals around the the bolts for that as well so I've just replaced those two um, and unfortunately the gasket set that I bought was for a twin cam Euro car parts strike again um, so that's quite annoying I haven't been able to replace the rocker cover gasket but the one on there doesn't actually look too bad um, it's but that's something to bear in mind if I have any weeping from the, the rocker covers. I'll just replace those gaskets only. Uh, so I'm just going to put this on. And then that's kind of the bulk of the work to the engine. 